All right, Raheem asked me to look at this, and here's the deal, is we got this data up here, and he wants it like this. All right, and then what are some things we notice? That these months are headers, and then we don't have this company A, B stuff, and we want regular 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, Okay, so here are these headers up here. Um, we want them combined so that this ratio one is with this ratio one, but still separate by regular one to 30, 31 to 60, uh, separated by months. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing is a transpose. And I did a video about transpose and getting, getting transform because you got to be careful with transpose getting rid of headers so um also i'm seeing a need for a fill down or fill up and maybe this could be a case made for having a fill across in power query anyway so here's how i solve this so minimize this i put this immediately into a table and i said my table has no headers because i am anticipating that when i do a transpose the headers are gonna go away and i need this january these months so that when i transpose i can do a fill down so here i went to data and i started a query from table and here is that query So there's the raw data. You see the months. You see this company, this ratios, this 31 to 60 stuff, these values. Okay, so then I went in. Now this always happens. This change type always happens. All right, so I removed column because I didn't need that company thing. Transpose the tables. And notice that what used to be uh, let's see. Okay, so we got the column two, three, four, that stuff. We transpose. Now we got column one, two, three, four. It's made new column headers and got rid of those old ones, right? But now we do have the months here. We can fill down. And then I promoted the headers to ratio, right? Get that stuff up there. And then I unpivoted because I want to have these values and these ratios all in a, in their own columns. So then here we go. Look at this. All right. So that was the unpivoted other columns. And then notice that Power Query made new headers. All right. Look at this. Ratio one, ratio one dash one dash two. So I had to go after the unpivoted. I had to split that column to get that stuff out of there. All right, change type. Now, okay, so I changed that to a number and not text. All right, um, renamed columns. So I went and made this month categories ratios attribute two. this is going to go away and then there's value remove column right change type okay now this is a number and then i did a grouping i grouped by category then by month then by ratios and i summed the values okay so now that's how we go from here to here to here. Okay. So we reordered the columns. I just moved some around. You know, category month. Reordered them. And then I pivoted the column because I want the month on top. Boom. There you go. January, February, March. And then we've got the categories and the ratios. All right. And let's look at this. 
Here, let's look at it this way. View, advanced editor. Okay, so pivoted, right. Uh, okay, where sum is the value. Okay, so now we have something that's close to what we wanted. I didn't try to get into whether I could get this separated out, right, and just have it in this one big block. But what we do have is the data looking like this. Regular 1, 2, 3, 4, January, February, March. Regular 1, 2, 3, 4, January, February, March. All right, so that's quick and dirty. Not much detail, but there you go.